You, you, you tell a person they can't be here, but then you, you don't give them an alternative of where they can be. Well, and you have no shelter, you have no this, you have no that. That's what, that's what bothers me. Right. Now, if they're choosing not to take the help or get the help and there's help out there and there's not these, that, that okay, exactly then okay, then I got I was, a problem. That's where I was exactly headed but to. But they got nowhere for anybody to go. Right, and that's where I was headed to. That's what I'm saying. Here's a challenge that there's a lot of debate on. Mm-hmm. But, and everybody's debating, let's look for a solution. And I think, all right, the solution would be is to create a designated area where they the homeless can go to, right. you know, and at the same time, put measures of intervention where these homeless can go to, mm -hmm. you know, get caseworkers out there, you know, let them feel safe, have a police presence kind of watching the area mm -hmm. so things don't get out of hand, mm -hmm. you know, um, and start addressing the situation you know mm -hmm. you're right you know but I like to look at on, on both perspectives you know you got the side of you got community you know right. you got the side of society right. that's like you know they don't deserve you know get them out of there we want that and they have the right to have that that's the beauty about being in this country but also you know at the same time it's, it's really screwed up for the people that are homeless because they have nowhere to go so let's find a solution for this and we have the resources Let's find a solution. Let's get a, a local spot to where they can go to, and let's intervene there. You said that there is a, a problem unique to Titusville, though, when it comes to the homeless. Like, uh, you've actually heard an organization say, oh, well, there's no homeless in Titusville. Well, have you heard that? Have you heard that? What I've heard and the way it's went through, and again, not naming names. Right, now I don't want you to name yeah, any names. Just having a conversation with somebody. Um, it was said that an agency within Titusville reported to Titusville that there isn't a homeless problem in Titusville. And because of that, you know, this agency really can't intervene. They're working on trying to fight to get in, right. but they're a data-based, you know, they need data. They need to show statistics in order to... To, oh, to set up shop. To, exactly. So well, when, listen, you know when why the I city... There's, there's not a problem is because they're SpaceX dollars. They don't want old Elon Musk to know that there's a channel out there called Homeless in Titusville and that, that there's like over 100 videos and very rare are there any, quote, repeats. Right. Because if there wasn't a homeless problem, I would be struggling to find guests on my show, wouldn't you think? But it's very easy for well, me to find Well, and that's someone. the thing, though. You know, just in the little bit of time that it's out here, I already know of, uh, you know, a handful of camps of homeless people all over this community. Mm. Um, and again, I don't know what the reasons are, if it is SpaceX or what's not. It's got to be politics. It's got to be money. It has to be. I'm, I mean, that would be my guess. I, you know, from what I've seen, you know, you got organization against organization because everyone's trying to be. And, you know, really what they're all doing, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, you know, they're trying to, they're monetizing off of it somehow, mm -hmm. some way, mm -hmm. you know, so they're trying to protect their investment. Yeah. We got to break away from that, you know. I'm not making anything off doing this. You're, you know, you made a couple Pennies. hundred bucks over <laughs> right. years of doing this. Right, right. You know, um, it's just, it's it's a mess, you it know. Is. It is. And another thing I was thinking, you know, if you need the data, set up shop for a weekend at a park like this. Offer food, right. offer all kinds right. of things. Put the word out there. Data will come to you. Right. You know, I also also you see know? a lot of these organizations will go, oh, well, all they have to do is walk in the door. And I say to myself, why don't you, instead of waiting for them to walk, why don't you get off your butt and go out there and you find them? Because they're easy to find. Like you said, a lot of them don't have transportation. A lot of them don't have a car or a bicycle. Or maybe maybe their well, health is such that they have a sore on their foot right. and they can only walk a couple hundred yards. And if you went out there to them, you know. And then they turn you, you know, away. Right, they turn your way because you don't have a social security card or an ID. Right. Yeah, so you don't have an ID. You can't get access uh. to an ID. So you're supposed to walk into the door to this place for them to turn you away, and then you walk back. To, you have to go back to wherever you know because you're comfortable there. But you know? you know what's funny? When they get arrested, jail always knows who they are. Like uh, that does that boggles my mind. Well, and that's I can't get help from the government to get a to get a cheese sandwich, but by God, you could put me in jail for a year. Right. You know who the hell I am then. And that's the perfect thing. And from what I understand, you know, one organization is beginning to work with the sheriff's department to try to intervene. Right, they should. And you know, since the sheriff knows, because they are out on the streets mm -hmm. on a law enforcement level, just like yes. you're out on the streets on a journalist level, they're mm -hmm. out on the streets every day on a law enforcement level, so they could identify what's really happening on the streets so let's listen to them about who is who 
You know, this organization can't sit there and dictate who is who because you're not on the streets every day. You're not there. You're not arresting them. You're not seeing them. You don't have a relationship with them. Law enforcement does because mm -hmm. that's what they do for a living. Right. So law enforcement does. They could identify and they can start putting in programs, you know, bring in these other agencies to come together to start addressing it. And ultimately, that will help out the community because it's less tax dollar being spent on, you know... On the jails, right. Because it's been proven over and over that it's cheaper to rehabilitate somebody and help them than to the, than the incarcerate. Right, you right. Know? You know, so. so... And more importantly, you know, it, we're actually doing something... Constructive and helpful to that person's yeah. life. You know, and let's set, this, let's set a different tone for future generations, mm. you know, to do something differently. You know, general racial poverty is very real. Mm. And it repeats itself because it's part of its environment. Right. Let's break that cycle. Let's change the environment and let's show people what it really is to be homeless. And from my perspective as a, a homeless journalist, from what I see, there's, it's, it's a simple solution. Mm. We just need to come together, finally. You know, let's just come together. Let's sit down. With, let's get everybody at a table. And let's sit down and say, how are we going to fix this together? As opposed to, oh, well, you know, my group is this, and my group is that, and, and my group is that. And demonizing each other and, that, and making assumptions. And morning, now, you know, it's like having a bunch of divorced parents fighting with each other. <laughs> right, and, over and their ignore, homeless children. And, and ignoring the, 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 so let's just let it all go, you right, know. Right, and, right. you know, that's what I want to bring out in my work, you know. Um, it's just all real raw, it's in the moment, there's no, it just is what it is, right, you know. Right. So that. All right, well, well, cool stuff, good stuff. Uh, I appreciate you doing this interview. I appreciate you. Uh, and was there anything else that we may have left out that, that you didn't get to say today? No, I think I touched base on everything. And, you know, if you guys could help me out, you know, Keith, you know, a plug, of course. I'm not asking, you know, I'm not trying to become rich off of this. This is right. my passion. Right. You know, folks, I want you to know that I'm really into this. You know, I'm not... I, I chose this lifestyle because of this passion. Well, so I, I mean, you, you did, but you didn't choose it. And I don't want to go into it, it anymore. It found me. But Put it this way, it found me. It's a journey yeah, that finally found yeah. me. You know, and but you uh, certainly didn't choose this. It chose you. It chose me. It chose that, you. That, that's, that's, that's the right phrase. That's, that's, right that's the way. So thank you. All thank right. You guys. All right, guys. So listen, you can friend me at K-E-I-T-H-W-O-H-R on Facebook. You can also become a member of Homeless in Titusville. You can go ahead and leave a message for me on YouTube. I do look at those messages. I will tell you that I have to approve your comments before you'll you'll see them because some people don't know how to have civil discourse. And for those um, organizations or whatever <laughs> that uh, have different uh, assumptions about me or for any of you that have any assumptions about me, uh, make contact if you're here in the area and you'd like to hang out with me for the day and see what I do and get to know me a little better, you know, I'm all open to that. I have no problem whatsoever. Uh, I'm an open book. Uh, oh, and I just want everybody to know that this wasn't planned. This was right. a normal conversation. Don't, you know, I yeah, don't want, right, yeah, I don't right, want right. the, I don't right. want you're not reading a script. Yeah, I don't want these you're organizations yourself. to be like, oh, that was planned, you know. Like right, he was forced or, to say that. No, no, okay, no, no, so no. I can quit twisting yeah, your arm? Yeah. No, it's really not about that, you know, right. so I just want your audience Right, you're to being know. yourself and. Yeah, you know, we you, just met, you know, and you followed me a little bit and you saw what I'm doing. Yeah, and you saw your artwork and stuff and made contact. Yeah, just to make that clear. Yeah, so this is not a setup. This is not a setup in any way. Even plan this this so is or I, organic. We just met. We're just having this meeting. Mm. We've talked, but we've just met in person today, and this is how this interview right. came out right. to be. Right. It's very organic. Right. It's right. Very organic. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, All right, guys. Welcome. All right. So, uh, as I always say, may you be just as blessed as you have blessed others. And until next time, thanks for watching. And if you think this video is important, please subscribe. Please share it. Please tell people about it. And, uh, See you next time. Thanks for watching. Oh, and don't forget to check out dsmgalleries.com. All right, awesome. <laughs> In the description, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, gotcha. see you next time.